everyone. Thank you for joining me for the fourth episode of Inside Elucidata. I'm Scott Shirey, an account executive with our team. And today I'll be talking about what it's like to work at Elucidata, what we do, and our impact on the scientific community. I've been here for about a year and it's been fast and exciting. Our company has been growing quickly and we actually tripled our revenue last year while doubling the number of employees. We now have over 100 people who collaborate closely with one another and leverage their diverse expertise in bioinformatics, systems engineering, and ML models. It's been a lot of fun and also challenging work in life sciences, specifically the data-centric ML ops space because every client has a different focus for their research and where one company is strong in say bioinformatics, they may need additional support in engineering or web app development and vice versa. We have a cloud-based AI-enabled platform called Poly, and it provides a scalable curation infrastructure we use to curate tabular biomedical data. We start by deploying our tech on public domain like GEO and TCGA, and also vast amounts of proprietary data that companies are producing in-house. The data is stored in a standardized ML-ready format on Poly, where clients can access the data programmatically to use in their own workflows, or use Poly's web interface to conduct their analysis. We work with pharmaceutical and biotech companies of all sizes with different goals. Companies have been using data-driven approaches to glean insights from the vast amount of data that's available or being produced. And in order to develop a best in class or cutting edge drug, they're utilizing teams with a broad range of backgrounds. I work with clients having teams of all kinds, including biologists, computational biologists, bioinformatics, data scientists, engineers who are all using their individual skills to build pipelines and models to advance science in ways they couldn't say 20 years ago. While working with them, it's my goal to find out where a team is strong and what areas would help to enable their team and achieve even better results. Sometimes it's more about democratizing access to data or to build stronger relationships between wet lab scientists and data scientists through better results or visualizations that enable other team members to research more effectively. I realize there's a large burden on teams that are spread thin, having many responsibilities and have to manage or curate the data pouring out of their instruments, which is unusable until properly formatted and processed. I act as a liaison in some regards to connect clients with one skill set with team members of ours that can help in a supplemental way. It's really cool that we've built something very differentiated and valuable with a whole team that wants to enable client teams to achieve their goals. At our company and in the world of data-driven drug discovery, there's no one expert, rather teams of experts who set out together to achieve one goal. In a way, I feel like I'm not reading popular science, but I'm working with teams who are the popular science. One team we worked with had a larger team of leading scientists and they said, hey, we like a lot of different repositories for oncology research, but we're most interested in transcription factors. What can you do for us? How can they leverage the most public data possible in a format that helps their team to make scientific decisions quickly? After all, the best data are the ones that allow scientists to make accurate decisions quickly. I connected with our cloud architects, engineers, and bioinformatics team to put together a more flexible model where we could deploy our platform onto the client's cloud infrastructure while also building a curation infrastructure to deploy information into their transcription factor dashboard. Through this, we were able to deliver information from tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of data sets through API access directly to the client's infrastructure. Through collaboration with their scientists and IT department, we were able to define the best visualizations for them, ways to communicate internally to decide which ones would have a higher impact on their research. From there, we used a variety of tools to develop visualizations and connect them with an enormous amount of information in a palatable way. It's exciting to work with so many leading experts to help them achieve their research goals and ultimately help companies accelerate their path to IND. Whether it's through dashboards, new pipelines or research methods, or just by making data usable, I'm learning how to better help our customers every day. Some companies we work with are smaller with a fresh round of funding and are ready to make something of their newfound discoveries. This creates a lot of challenges. They have to best decide where to spend their time and money. As they build their organization, 
and are hiring people, it's difficult to choose which team members and departments to build out first. And building a full-fledged team in data science is multifaceted. Not only can hiring for different roles be difficult, but starting from scratch requires expertise in cloud infrastructure, connectors and data pipelines, data management, and defining what process your team wants to use. While building this out, the scientists who are defining the experimental process need to also work closely with their bioinformatics team to decide which process will most likely generate significant results, but also the format that their process data will, be, will take. I've been working with teams in this exact situation where they realize it's a giant task to undertake, but we can take a lot of the burden on, allowing them to take time and hire based on their most pressing needs. It's truly a consultative selling approach because we work very closely with our clients and we want them to feel like their research is supported, if not accelerated through our relationship. I work with our team and theirs to determine the first steps, which is usually the process of connecting instruments to our data management platform and developing pipelines so it's stored in a usable format, deciding together how their cloud infrastructure will look and how this data will be consumed after the fact. Once this process is developed, teams start hiring in specific expertises so they can work on platform to build additional analyses, visualizations, ML models, you name it. We want to, the data to be usable by all members of their team while offering tools and spaces for data scientists to thrive alongside biologists.